Hi guys, back on the 400. Got a clutch that we're gonna put in today. I actually already started the timing chain assembly and uh, took everything off on this cover already. But when I did it, I noticed that the clutch was kind of worn out. So we ordered a new clutch and I'm going to install that today and get everything on the side cover buttoned up, get the head back on and uh, start getting this thing ready to go. We still need to order a carb. Yeah, just uh, hang tight and we're gonna go through this build. The reason we went ahead and pulled the whole clutch basket off is we're gonna have to remove this guide, most likely anyways, to get the timing chain back up to the top of the head here so we can reattach the camshaft gears. So Lied was able to actually pull it back up. So we can now reinstall the basket for the clutch. There are a couple gears that have to line up right here. They crank with the flywheel gear. And then this inner gear with probably the oil pump. So we've got to try to get those all meshed up. There we go. We're all the way back now. All right, so there is all of our new clutch kit, new frictions, new metals, and new springs. We're going to go find a tub that we can soak these in oil. They need to be soaked in oil since it is a wet clutch for about 10 minutes prior to installation. One thing I'm kind of disappointed about with online when I bought the kit, it was supposed to come with these two thrust rings. They go around here as well. Outside one looks a little dark. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. We didn't get them, so unfortunately we're going to have to reuse them. This is the, well, not new cylinder head, but uh, refurbished cylinder head. Been ported and polished on both the intake and the exhaust side. Hot cam, stage two cams going in. Actually, they've already been set in. Five angle valve job, new valves. So we're getting ready to pull this back apart, take the cams out so that we can actually bolt the head onto the motor because there are a couple engine bolts down inside here underneath the cams. Then we'll reinstall the cams and set the timing. So installing your clutches, you just go one friction, one metal. One friction, one metal. Alrighty guys, that'll be it for this video. It's pretty simple to change out your clutch plates. He kind of did a little bit more just because he wanted to do a little bit of inspecting. But if you guys would like to see the continuation of this video of us uh, rebuilding and putting back the top end, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the bell, post notifications on so you guys know when we post. And by the way, that'll be every single Thursday. So we will be posting every single Thursday from this point moving forward. And it will be within the next couple Thursdays when this video is continued. So... With that being said, if you guys would like to, check out some of my other videos. It's your boy, Mr. MX. I'll catch you guys next Thursday. I'm out. Peace.